Hi, this is Shion. This video is about phase contrast microscopy. So in previous we have seen that what is dark field microscopy, what is the basic principle of dark field microscopy. And phase contrast microscopy is actually a modification of dark field microscopy. Now if you have not seen yet the dark field microscopy video, please see that one first and then come to phase contrast microscopy. Otherwise it will be hard to understand all the concepts. So in dark field microscopy what we had done that uh, we have used some special type of condenser lens which is very important uh, to eliminate all the light beam from the central part and then uh, by using another objective type of aperture lens uh, after specimen we want to get only the diffracted light from the specimen. So the whole concept of dark field microscopy lies in the statement that we are taking considerations only those light which are actually coming uh, from the specimen interactions which are actually diffracted from the specimen so that was a very important in dark field microscopy now phase contrast microscopy is actually uh, extra modifications has been added to the dark field microscopy arrangement so that we can get a better contrast now what is the working principle of phase contrast microscopy, what is the image formation mechanism, what is the scientific background and how it applied, how it can be applied for bioimaging experiment. That is the topic of this video. So first to mention that uh, in dark field also we have seen uh, that uh, we will not stain our specimen and that is the main advantage of using dark field or phase contrast microscopy that we don't have to uh, stay in our sample okay if if you have let's say a cell uh, which you want to do live cell imaging now if you want to do live cell imaging and then uh, in that time in that experiment if you stain that cell with some fluorophore then obviously that fluorophore will go inside the cell and you have to kill the cell otherwise you cannot incubate the fluorophore within the cell it will obviously uh, make some malfunctioning of the cellular uh, my cellular engineering okay so cell will not uh, cell will not uh, live so, so you have to kill the cell okay so whenever you are killing the cell you can't uh, you can't investigate the mechanism which is really going on inside the cell in a real life cell so for that type of life cell imaging we need uh, no staining mechanism microscopy so in order to get a no staining concept we have used the first uh, dark field microscopy first but whatever image we are getting in dark field microscopy that is actually not better in quality why because the contrast is not better contrast of that image is not better now question why that contrast is not better why that contrast is not better now that question will come what is contrast what is contrast in your image and then you can understand why the contrast is not better so what is contrast to give an analogy I will just say that uh, contrast is actually just a balance of white and black isn't there nothing else Combi contrast is just a balance of white and black now what is contrast to give an analogy let's say uh, you you are studying very well you stood uh, faster second in your class and you have a competitor your friend now I, uh, I have been asked as a judge to uh, compare your marks with your friend marks, with your friend's marks. Now you have given me your grade sheet and that friend has not given. Now you are saying, hey judge me, hey Shion judge me, my marks judge, uh, you judge my marks, uh, whether I am the better or he is the better. Now in that sense I can judge, no? <laughs> because I don't have the another mark sheet. So whenever you are eliminating whenever you are eliminating one thing what is the part of the system then how can you judge okay that's the point whenever you are eliminating whether okay it's fine that uh, you that friend is actually second position so he will not get better marks from you obviously you will the first so you will get a better marks that's fine but when you are eliminating then how can you saying me to judge judge yourself 
that's not possible that's why in dark field microscopy also okay so if we get the mark sheet of both the students uh, your friends also then only i can give very small small minute details mean small small change in uh, various subjects i can say okay history this student are better this student are better in geography this student are better in history but second who has stood this is he he is better in uh, let's say let's say physics let's say chemistry so that is the point you have to some you have to take take into considerations both the uh, mark sheet that's why in dark field we were eliminating eliminating which light undifracted light because we are saying uh, undifracted light doesn't contain any information from our specimen that doesn't make any interactions with our specimen and uh, that's why undifracted light doesn't contain any information as well as spatially or temporally from the specimen we will not get any information spatially or temporally uh, about the specimen from the undifracted light now whenever undifracted light is not carrying any informations we are eliminating it just but it's fine we are eliminating it's fine but whenever we are eliminating we are actually rejecting one thing we are actually not taking into consideration one thing and we are saying i am our our image is very better our image is very better but that cannot be possible to increase the image contrast you have to take into consideration that light also and that is the principle of phase contrast microscopy and that has been done by using another type of special phase plate another special type of plate called phase plate which is just very uh, similar to that of the condenser lens we used in the phase contrast microscopy which is actually a opaque disc uh, the central part uh, contains uh, opaque disc which doesn't uh, allow the central part of the beam to pass through and the edge part will pass through okay so that's why the phase plate uh, they have used after the specimen as a objective after the objective lens after the objective lens they use the phase plate okay to get a phase difference to get a phase difference between the undiffracted light and diffracted light now this phase difference of the undiffracted light and diffracted light are going to be uh, recorded in the image plane and uh, they will provide some very important contrast they will generate important contrast in your image now your image looks uh, like better now whenever you can get better contrast you can uh, uh, investigate more uh, in more intricately more intricately very small small details minute details of your specimen uh, that is important and that's why phase contrast microscopy is greater uh, in our preference uh, as contrast to the dark field microscopy so that is the important principle <clears throat> now how it's done to say that uh, face plate is actually used to increase the image contrast that is the main thing face plate face plate is actually used to increase the image contrast here you can see i have shown the whole image of uh, microscopy you don't have to see all the things you just see this is a digital camera transmitted like these are uh, all the things you don't have to take into consideration one thing just Condenser annulus they used also for dark field microscopy and here also that's fine and the function of condenser annulus is nothing to just block the central light that is fine but another additionally they have used for the face plate microscopy uh, sorry for the face uh, called as face plate they have used in the face contrast microscopy is called as the face plate which you can see in the central part where you can see in the central part actually contains some species contains some material which makes a phase difference of the undiffracted light as compared to the diffracted light now whenever you are co considering the all the lights diffracted as well as the undiffracted in your image plane then a complete phase difference then a very conspicuous very conspicuous phase difference i repeat uh, that conspicuous phase difference is the main additional thing in the phase contrast microscopy as compared to the dark field microscopy that is very important to understand isn't it? that is very important to understand and that has been done by using a phase plate that works actually very similar to the condenser annulus okay so here phase plate are using which making a phase contrast of the undiffracted light as well as uh, with the diffracted light and this undiffracted light phase difference with the diffracted light hmm, is going to be recorded in the image plane as very sharp contrast in your image that's why you can see a better image in better image quality you can achieve with this type of microscopy now a very important uh, thing that to 
to say the optical train optical train means nothing uh, but the optical arrangement the lay uh, the ray of the light ray of the light source is going to be recorded if we draw the ray of the light source throughout the whole microscopy system that will be called optical train now if we see that one you can see here is the lamp that is the light source now uh, now don't have this is a complicated picture you don't have to think all the things see here is the condenser lens this is uh, exactly same to the dark field microscopy condenser lens contains some special type of lens which actually doesn't allow the central part of the beam that is exactly similar to the dark field up to this up to this objective lens is exactly similar to the uh, dark field but here some face plate are using this is the special things in face contrast microscopy and this face plate are actually making some face difference okay making some face difference uh, of the diffracted light with the undiffracted light now undiffracted light actually doesn't contain any information for the specimen that's why scientists thought okay i can't use undiffracted light as a uh, in carry information carrier for the specimen but i can use it to contrast uh, to increase the contrast to make the image quality better and that's the concept uh, here they used they thought that i can use the undiffracted light who doesn't carry any informations uh, to increase the image quality to increase the image contrast and that has been done in the face contrast microscopy that they have used a special type of face plate which works exactly similar uh, quite similar to the condenser annulus uh, to make a face difference with the diffracted light as well as the undiffracted light and that has uh, been recorded in the image plane make a better contrast in the image and uh, do your job very easy to investigate every minute details of your specimen and this all the things dark field and face contrast are useful for the live cell imaging now we will go to a face difference picture here you can see the face difference okay uh, this red and blue the red and blue are the diffracted and undiffracted light and the sorry red and green and the blue shows the after interference after interference means so this different phase light diffracted and undiffracted light will co contain a different phase so in phase contrast microscopy this different phase actually different phase light actually interfere to form the image as i have said the different phase light so first first step making a phase difference or generating a phase difference that's fine next step different phase light interfere different phase light interfere to form an image Okay. That's why I have said now the two students mark sheet you are taking into consideration mark sheets of two students You are merging the mark sheet of two students now you are comparing history this student got this this student got this Math this student got this this student got this geography uh, Biology this student got 90 this student got 50 now you are interfering you are comparing Okay, that's the point. Okay, that's the interference So they will interfere to form the better resolution to form the better contrast in the image so this blue light is actually showing the interference pattern okay this can be better shown by a vector uh, image this red and the green are the initial uh, vector quantity and after the after some vector uh, interactions uh, the blue will happen and that is the interference pattern after interfere after interfere interactions uh, the blue light will uh, generate now we will see in an image uh, a video which will help to understand all the concepts Here you can see, um, this is the dark field microscopy. Sorry, let me open the video again. Hmm. So you can see this is the principle of dark field microscopy. Then specimen will come and make a, uh, the emitted light will be captured by the objective lens and, and then make an image. Image of the sample appears on the screen. This is up to the dark field microscopy. Now we will see what happens in the face contrast microscopy. Face contrast microscopy. To increase the contrast of the image of the unstained and transparent sample, face contrast microscopy has came. Face contrast microscopy allows to observe transparent samples such as cell with no need of color, no uh, staining. The same thing is happening here. Up to here, the same thing is happening. Same thing happening up to like up to this also. Now face plate will come. Okay, this is the specimen is coming. 
uh, specimen is also making the same type of interactions as like dark field now extra thing face plate is coming see what is happening here the face plate is coming and making a face difference this uh, this uh, black one black one is the undiffracted light and uh, this has a different phase as compared to the yellow one which is the diffracted light these two phase difference interfere and make image and this video has been taken from quantum made simple.com i have not made this video to give you information okay. this type of interaction video can be managed from this website so if i go again